in Virgo. This is what happened in the next 48 hours for June the 25th through June the 26th, 2023. Universal energies. Show me what I need to see for the star sign of Virgo for June the 25th through June the 26th, 2023. Universal energies. Show me what I need to see. For the star sign of Virgo for June the 25th through June the 26th, 2023. Universal energies. Show me what I need to see. For the star sign of Virgo for June the 25th through June the 26th, 2023. Show me. You guys, subscribe, like, comment, and share these videos. If this does not resonate with you, check your moon, rising, and Venus sign videos. I do not read reversals. So, Virgo. Virgo. These are your cards, honey. So, Virgo, you have the four of cups, Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. There's an offer on the table that you're not accepting or rejecting. You're contemplating this offer, but actually you're bored with the offer, thinking of missing the offer. But this is also a card of you contemplating sending an offer, but you fear that the offer will be rejected. So listen, Virgo, very well could be an offer coming into you that you're thinking about missing. However, you could be contemplating sending an offer. You just have this fear it won't be accepted. Clarify the Four of Cups. For Virgo, clarify the Four of Cups. For Virgo, clarify the Four of Cups. For Virgo, it is clarified with the Seven of Pentacles. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This is you waiting. And in this wait, you're pausing to reflect on you guys' relationship. You're looking at the seeds that were planted. Looking at what has taken root, what has grown, and what it has produced thus far. Trying to figure out whether or not you want to continue to invest. Whether you want to reinvest, you're taking stock of you guys' relationship, assessing you guys' relationship. But this is also a card of you looking at your coins, your harvest, your bank account, looking at how much you have and how much you have to invest. Could be waiting on money. So Virgo, listen, you could be waiting on money, looking at your coins, looking at your bank account. You can tell me that you're waiting. You can tell me that you're waiting, contemplating, and debating on whether or not you care to continue to invest or reinvest in this relationship. You know, Virgo, it very well could be something going on with your coins. Maybe someone is trying to give you something or offer you something, but you're looking at your coins and saying, you know what, I think I'm going to miss it. I need to just save my money. Virgo, you can tell me that you're asking yourself whether or not you care to continue to invest or reinvest in this relationship because they may be coming in with an offer that you're thinking about missing or you yourself may be thinking about coming in with an offer. You just have this fear it won't be accepted. Virgo, you could also be turning something down because you feel like you need to wait. Virgo, you have the Knight of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This is someone coming into you or you're coming into someone to bring something more solid, stable, and secure. Now, this can be about making things more committed. This can be about a lump sum of money, a job offer, a raise, a promotion, a bonus, a high ticket item purchase, a new home, a new car, a token of love, a gift, anything of value. But it's on the slowest moving night in the deck. So having anything solid, stable, secure, and long-lasting is so slow coming to the point where it seems like it's not coming at all. So stability or commitment has been halted here. So Virgo, everything has come to a screeching halt. Clarify the Knight of Pentacles for Virgo. Clarify the Knight of Pentacles for Virgo. Clarify the Knight of Pentacles for Virgo. It is clarified with the Knight of Cups, Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. This is someone coming into you or you're coming into someone to apologize, to offer your cup of love and make the romantic gesture. So someone is saying, I'm sorry. Someone is trying to heal things, mend things, work things out. May even be coming in with a romantic gesture here. Clarify the Knight of Cups 
for Virgo. Clarify the Knight of Cups. For Virgo. Clarify the Knight of Cups. For Virgo. It is clarified with the Queen of Swords. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This queen is a no-nonsense type of queen. She already knows the truth. She'll let you speak your truth to bring more clarity, but she has no problems with cutting people, places, and things out of her life that no longer serve her. So Virgo, listen, could be dealing with Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, or someone with air prominent in their charts. However, you could be taking on the energy of this Queen of Swords and cutting something out. Also with the Queen of Swords, this can be legal documentation or paperwork. Clarify the Queen of Swords for Virgo. Clarify the Queen of Swords for Virgo. Clarify the Queen of Swords for Virgo. It is clarified with the Knight of Wands. Aries, Leo, or Sag. This is someone rushing into you or you're rushing into someone to start a passionate, creative new endeavor. Now, someone could be rushing in, going off, going ham passionately, rushing in with the spark of a new idea, rushing in with some type of exciting, passionate communication, exciting, passionate action. But this one is symbolic of the male phallic and using the male phallic to be intimate. This is flighty energy, in and out energy, player energy. So listen, Virgo, you can tell me that there is a rush to do something. Could be a rushing in, going off, going ham passionately with a heated discussion or argument. Or someone was out being a player getting cookies somewhere. Clarify the Knight of Wands for Virgo. Clarify the Knight of Wands for Virgo. Clarify the Knight of Wands for Virgo. It is clarified with the Nine of Swords. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This is you being anxious, worried, stressed. Replaying things over and over in your mind. Losing sleep at night. Worried about something. So Virgo, listen, you're all up in your head, stressed, worried, anxious, can't eat, can't sleep, bothered by something here. Now Virgo, listen, you can tell me what is stressing you is the fact that something is a rush here. Maybe to file legal documentation or paperwork with some type of proposal here, maybe commitment here. And you're kind of saying, you know what, let's just slow this thing down. Let me think about it because you may not want this offer, you know, this proposal. Could also be an apology coming in, Virgo. You know, you can tell me that you're all up in your head, stressed and worried about maybe cutting them off and going stagnant because you guys had this rushing and going off, going hand passionately with a heated discussion or argument. And even though they're apologizing, you're asking yourself whether or not you care to continue to invest or reinvest. And you may miss this offer. You know, Virgo, you could also tell me that they were out being a player getting cookies somewhere and meanwhile trying to come and apologize. And this may be the reason why you don't want the offer. Virgo, you have the Queen of Swords again. So like I said, you could be dealing with Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, or someone with air prominent in their charts. However, you could be taking on the energy of this Queen of Swords and cutting something out. But this could also be legal documentation or paperwork. Clarify the Queen of Swords for Virgo. Clarify the Queen of Swords for Virgo. Clarify the Queen of Swords for Virgo. It is clarified with the Eight of Wands. Aries, Leo, or Sag. This can indicate that things are happening quickly. This can speak to travel. But this is the fast, rapid moving energy of communicating back and forth over the airwaves, the internet, with text messages, messenger, WhatsApp, emails, phone calls, even face to face communication. But this is also the fast, rapid moving energy of being intimate. So, Virgo, listen, something could be happening quickly here. This could involve travel. You guys could have gotten into a heated discussion or argument, throwing fiery dots at one another, or someone was communicating passionately online with someone else or being intimate with someone else. Like I said, Virgo, it could be some quick action going on with signing some type of legal documentation or paperwork for some type of proposal and you're thinking about missing it. You can tell me that you guys got into a heated discussion or argument throwing fiery dots at one another with this rushing in, going off, going ham passionately, and you're cutting them off here, Virgo. Virgo, you can tell me that they were out being a player getting cookies somewhere because they were communicating passionately online with someone else or being intimate with someone else. And you're thinking like, mm, no, I don't want your apology. Virgo, you have the seven of swords. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. 
This is someone lying, cheating, stealing, being manipulative, trying to get away with something, someone being deceptive, someone strategically devising a plan of action, someone being sneaky, trying to escape, trying to get away with something. So Virgo, some type of lying, cheating, deceptiveness here, sneakiness or sneaking off. Clarify the Seven of Swords for Virgo. Clarify the Seven of Swords for Virgo. Clarify the Seven of Swords for Virgo. It is clarified with the Four of Pentacles. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This is you holding back, holding off, keeping something close to your chest. Now, this is also a card of a miser, a penny pincher, someone who's holding back their coin, saving their money, being stingy, someone who's closed off, blocked off, not opening up. So Virgo, listen, you can tell me that you're closed off, blocked off, not opening up. You can tell me that you're holding on to your coin, saving your money, being stingy, or you're keeping something close to your chest here. Now, Virgo, listen, hmm. You can tell me that they're trying to offer you some money, but you just think it's some type of strings attached here. Virgo, you can tell me because of this lying, cheating, deceptiveness here, you're just kind of closed off to this person, Virgo. Virgo, you have the Eight of Swords. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This is you feeling stuck. Like you're in a self-imposed prison of your thoughts. This is you feeling like you can't move, but you can move because it's all mental. This is you refusing to see some things, refusing to acknowledge some things, a lack of information, block communication. This is you feeling stuck, trapped, and blocked. <sighs> Virgo, you know, yes, you can tell me you're feeling stuck in a situation or there's blocked communication. But I want to know, Virgo, are you all up in your head stressed because you were the one out being a player here? And it's you wanting to come in with this offer. You're just waiting because you think they won't accept it here. Did you keep something close to your chest about some type of deception? And now it's coming out and there was a cutting off here and you're just wanting to apologize, feeling stuck. Clarify the Eight of Swords for Virgo. Clarify the Eight of Swords. For Virgo, clarify the Eight of Swords. For Virgo, it is clarified with the Six of Cups. Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. This is someone from your past. Flashback from the past. Full fledged in the flesh. Someone from your past is back. Now you can be reminiscing on someone from your past, remembering someone from your past, but something or someone from the past is being revisited. This is twin flame energy. This is reconciliation energy. So Virgo, listen, you can tell me that you're having feelings of nostalgia, wanting to reunite with this person from your past. You can tell me that someone from their past is in the picture. Someone from your past is in the picture. Something from the past is being brought back up here, or this involves children. Now, Virgo, listen, you can tell me that someone in their past is in the picture. They were out being a player, and so you're blocking them. You can tell me that something from the past was brought back up here, and, you know, this is the reason why you're blocking them. You can tell me that someone from your past was in the picture, and you're feeling stuck. You're wanting to come in to apologize, but you feel like they won't accept your offer, something that you were keeping close to your chest about, some type of deception. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. A Virgo, you're telling me you're just stuck on whether or not you want to reunite with this person or not because they could be coming to apologize to you or you them, vice versa. Virgo, this will happen in the next 48 hours for June the 25th through June the 26th, 2023. You guys, give me feedback, subscribe, like, comment, and share, and follow me on Twitter at Her Immortal Maj, M-A-J, and I'll see you guys next week. Peace.